a T20 warm-up game, second team game up at the Vale. Assistant SNC coach Jim always just taking a mitt for the boys. Are you looking forward to it? Best mitt at the club. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gents. How are you doing? Ryan? How's it going? How are you? Yeah, good to see you. Definitely. Yeah, there's a young, there's a young fella that's coming through. That's actually consistently been putting in performances. Young lad called Jack Brooks. <laughs> Come on, let's see a wicket. <laughs> I mean, that <laughs> is how it's done, isn't it? That is why you're on the camera. Yeah. Reporting live from uh, Taunton Vale Cricket Club, Zolly Sale here, and uh, Casey Aldridge has just taken four wickets in four balls. And Trouts has actually called two out of two of them. Bangor, we were talking about it earlier. Just, just got back to the ground um, where those that aren't playing um, in the second team today are having a middle practice. Well, they're just nets. We'll see. We're going to catch up with a few of the lads, see how they're perhaps going. First game tomorrow versus Essex. Oh, city. Abe's camera's on you here, just to let you know. <laughs> Alright Tango, can I, I see you? Let me only... see you for you. Hey, I only wish I had one of these when I was bowling. <laughs> Especially at Marcus just got it. And he used to pump me everywhere. <laughs> game day. First T20 game today. And this is the calm before the storm. Groundsman just getting prepped, getting the nets up. I bought some new sweatbands and I'm just quite keen to get them out. Um, yeah, I want to be a bit like Rafael Nadal. Okay, well, big, big right arms. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever? Do you get nervous before? Just another game, mate. Do you ever get nervous before games? Excitable. Excitable. I woke up. It's all I thought about today is cricket, mate. But no nerves. Excitable nerves. So I like it. I like it. You know. What did you do? Yeah, I took four wickets in. Yeah, four balls. In four balls. Yeah. Double hat trick. Yeah. Um, mm. And what was that feeling like? Yeah, it was a good feeling. It was it was more relief because I dragged my length back a little bit. Uh, Not you again. Go home. Oh, he He's talking about his four and four again. <laughs> I feel I feel pretty good. Feel do you, pretty do you good. get nervous? Or uh, excited? I think you always get nervous. I must yeah. say. Uh, with the better feeling, always excited. Yeah. Because although you've played in a lot of games, it's still nice. Yeah. Right, if you want to bowl as fast as you do, you have to <laughs> reinforce the foot, don't you? A little bit of support is always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what no, we've got. I need these. This. And we've got these big bowling boots as well. Boots, 100%. These bad boys, I'll try and get them. And uh, yeah, so we go Look sock. How solid they are. Bang. Brace, and then sock again. So two socks and a brace. 100%. Okay. So you are you a bit nervous? I am a bit nervous. Yeah. But you're excited. What about this man? Are you nervous? Not yet. He doesn't get nervous. No, it will be soon. Will be very, soon. very different characters. Yeah, well, so me and Vance. I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good about today. Yeah. Um, I'm opening the batting, which I haven't done in the last 18 years of playing cricket. So, uh, <laughs> as you're saying, you can't teach old doggy tricks and stuff. So we'll see how we go. I've got to stand there and um, and uh, watch bats, which uh, is going to be probably the best part of my day. You were working in the second team the other day, opening the bat. Second team, yeah, I did, yeah. I, I burgled a few in the second team, so, um, so no, we'll see how we go. It's good fun, isn't it? Just, uh, do you get nervous before games? Not anymore. Less nervous in T20 than I do in four-day cricket. Really? Definitely, yeah. yeah you know, I think you almost have to, to, play, to play better. Free. Well spoke, Louis. Come on, let's get physical. Hands <laughs> quads, coming back. Get you, I'm going to see you next week. Lewis, ready for the toss? First time the kit's getting a run out, I think. Nice, isn't it? Trade Nation. Pulling That's off. one for the sponsors. Yeah, very good fun. Snug, isn't it? Is it? Snug some, on his guns. Some space in there. <laughs> Lewis, what are you calling? Are you flip it, don't you? Yeah, I'm the flicker today, mate. You're the flicker. I am the flicker, so not really in my hands to them. What are you going to flick? Um, Just prediction. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna flick a tails and they're gonna call heads. Yeah, and we're bowling. And we love a bowl. Yeah. Dude, I thought you were gonna toss the tails. Yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> it was a tails. <laughs> and they called tails. Go well, Hild. Go well, Tommy B. Here we go, first ball of the T20 2021. 
Oh, take him. Let's try plant him next side. Hey! Look, here we go. Bowler's just doing some prep. This is the realities of it, isn't it? Homework, man. Bit of homework. Just a bit of colour it in. <laughs> Green and yellow and red and blue. <laughs> First time you've done a bit of homework in a while, isn't it, Jack? Ever, I think. <laughs> Blade Hill. Nice innings from Hildy, that. Yeah, it was. Got us off to a beautiful start. Shouts. Season professional. What, what's par on this then? 500. 500? Yeah. Have you seen the wicket? No, 200. That's just sliding again. on, there's a bit of pace. There's a bit of pace in the wicket, but there's a short side boundary. Bowling the right hand is far end, you've got to use your bumper because you've got a big. How big is this? It looks like 80, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a big, it's a big hit. Very nice little cameo from you. What's the, uh, what's the wicket there? A bit quite bouncy, nice pace. You reckon you're going to be standing on the ring to show? I could be outside the ground. Got <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But so I was getting ready for some bombs. Ready? No man. I might forget him on here, it's probably my 30 second back. Oh, you don't have me this year protecting you. Yeah. There you go, Shanky. I nice, like Sailor Boy. Nice strokes in there, right? Yeah, a couple, but a couple oh. too many dots, maybe. Nah. Yeah, you're, you're rebuilding. Right. You're re I am. I was just said, asking Eddie, yeah, I was rebuilding the innings. But you also almost hit my brand new car, so I'm not <laughs> happy about that. <laughs> that would be good to see. That would be very good to see. If you park it there, it's your fault. <laughs> Jason is magic book. Magic. I wish it was a magic form. <laughs> <laughs> Neil! Oh! Oh! Woo! Oh! That's, a good shot. That's a massive. Good shot, Neil! Yeah. All right, great striking boy, awesome. <laughs> the gloves, man. How many pairs of gloves you got there? Looking after the boy. Playing nicely, that's got isn't it? Good one. Good, good, good. Um, who's who's top? Oh, Let's go, lads. <laughs> I'd like to film a wicket. Yesterday at the Vale, I literally said on camera, this is going to be a wicket, this ball, and then Slug nicked him off. <laughs> I've got a magic touch, I'm telling you. Every time I say it on this camera, someone gets a pole. That's a way out there, isn't it? See him up and then back in. the power play from what I've seen mainly um, and he's got high strike rate and sort of chest height um, cramping for room slow balls into the sort of five pad follow him if we can the thing about acting where you position yourself on the crease you don't have to start on the middle um, and similar for and he skidded it on obviously to the lefties but we did ball out the stumps and then current only hit the hole Sam current so again, if you're going to sit on the crease, you're going to hit the crease. You did it brilliantly last night. So is it advantageous to be out of your crease, to be deeper? But anything that landed on length went out of the ground. There was a lot of pace in the wicket, and we need to use that to our advantage. And I suppose we've clarified what the team is. We'll go through again what the roles are going to be. And we'll share some information. 
but we've got a huge advantage if we play on this surface and the learnings that we take from Wednesday, we apply tonight, job's done. Great opportunity to get straight back on it, yeah? Let's not take a step back against these guys. Every single ball, just keep punching, okay? Intensity. I'm going to keep saying it, all comp. Keep bringing the intensity, all right? Good luck, go well. Good boys. Yes, try here, boy. Second game tonight, Surrey. Um, trying to create some new content for you all, so uh, going to uh, see what the uh, 12th man corner is offering. Hello, so, hello, Somerset Fan TV. Welcome to 12th Man Corner. What's your role? What's we have, your role we have, we've actually got a debut, debutant in the ranks today, Lewis Coldsworthy. Come in for the fresh yeah. face, Will Smith. <laughs> nice to see my mate kick on from the ranks of, of 12th Man to number three in the batting lineup. That's what he's at. Batting number three for us today is Will Smith. So. Oh, he's progressed from the last game, hasn't he? Mm, very much so. Big 70 in the week. And he ran the drinks very well. Oh, superb. Oh. Yeah. Top of mark, this sumptuous boundary for the colours. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the game so far, Lee? A few a couple of nice boundaries. In the balance? What's happening here? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anything from Hildy there? Um, no, just very kept to his own thoughts, I think. But mm. Appreciated the hydration there. Yeah, good little thank you as I left, but <laughs> not too not too much said. He knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Yeah. He's been doing it for 48 years. <laughs> Give the behind the wyvern a wave. <laughs> Boo! Wait, see you Living through the nine fours and one six. Nice. Oh my word, that's so, so almost hit him in the head. That looks quick. Most of it, I think. Um, look, we didn't obviously get off to, to a brilliant start um, in power play, and we just struggled to, to drag it back, really. I'm very aware there's a lot of emotion in the room, a lot of frustration, uh, a lot of disappointment. Um, and we've earned that, so that's okay. Um, however, we always talk about honesty and transparency, and I think that's that's probably actually, if we'd be really honest to reflect on where our T20 is right now. Right, and that hurts. But I talked at the beginning, it's actually we're on a journey. Right, and they arguably give us an education how you play that format. And for me, it's not the abilities in the room, the talent, all that, the, these buzzwords that people talk about. That's him. It's the cricket smartness, it's the intelligence. It's being able to absorb the pressure and make the right decisions more often than not. And those things, they learn behaviours, they take time. So we've got players who played a lot of cricket, but maybe not so much in this format. And at the minute, it's hard to really give that role clarity because Lewis is having to make snap decisions, chop change. So actually, you're not getting the opportunity to learn with one role. So I think you know, it's my responsibility to have a little bit of a rethink and think about the strategy of how we're going to play T20 cricket moving forward. Like, of course, we're not sort of where we want to be as a team, but. We were just chatting like 2020 cricket is all about confidence and momentum and the worst thing we can do now is like go into our shell. We've got a next game, we've got to come out firing, you know, we've got to stick our chests out and you know we've got to express ourselves, but let's not go into our shell. And the other thing is, you know, away from sort of skills, like let's keep going with each other out there. Like, especially when we're under the pump, let's keep backing up the bowlers, let's keep keep going as a team, alright? That's one thing we can control. And I think we can be better. Like this is this is not doom and gloom. Okay, we've got to pick ourselves up. We've got 12 games left. I mean, there's there's a lot of fixtures here. We've got to pick ourselves up. We've got to work our absolute nuts off for the next few days. Think about what we're doing, and we come back Tuesday and we fucking hit them hard. Okay, there's no sitting back anymore. We're gonna come at them. Whoever's put in front of us, we're gonna fucking cover them. Full tilt. Everybody. We've got the ability in this dressing room to win this competition, I fully believe that.
let's dust ourselves down and we go again, alright? Good, good two days to yourselves, and we come.